Good morning, my friends. This is Paul here. It's about 6 a.m. Wednesday morning. And I want to record this because something quite important has just happened to me. And I feel it should be noted and shared with you. All those who are having problems from lower entities whilst doing their um, spiritual work and um, well I'll explain what happened so I was up in my bathroom getting ready for work when I had this clairvoyance a clairvoyant vision happen and I've had this gentleman at first I thought he was Jesus Christ but he wasn't, he's a helper. Now, I must say that many of you who know me know I am not religious. I find the whole thing hard to believe. Well, what we are being fed in this day and age. And um, I just feel so uncomfortable with it. But there's a but. I know in my heart of hearts there is something else something much bigger than I could ever imagine and this gentleman has come to me on behalf of the Christ light Jesus Christ and he tells me that there is something going on a doorway has been opened and lower entities are close enough to the earth now to disrupt things for many people and he has asked me as a worker for what I do if I will join forces with them and try and close this doorway or try and subdue those who are of a negative nature. Now this gentleman tells me he is recruiting. He's going round to various mediums and creating a very small army. And I know you're going to laugh at this. I just things like this are not me. I'm a <laughs> bare bones type of guy. I don't like drama fantasy not in the spiritual work I do it has to be factual I give what I get I don't like stories I don't like added stuff but this is different this is far different so I think to myself well if you're from a kind of religious type thing why are you not going round the popal people, the priests, the vicars? And to be honest, they're not, they're not spiritual, I should say. They are following a man-made doctrine. It's been so over-exaggerated so long, it's basically worthless. And I don't mean it's worthless not praying or trying to connect to the God light, the God source, but to follow these corrupt organisations that call themselves religious. So we'll leave that there. I'm really uncomfortable with that side of it. But the spiritual aspect, the God light, there's many of us who work in the light all of us should work in the light, I should say. And now the time has come where we are being asked to rally and to come forward as a collective. We will know what we have to do as and when we are told to do it. That's all I can say. So before this bathroom session, I just wanted you to know what has happened and um, hopefully it will be relevant 
when I do the bathroom session when I get home this evening. If not, I'm going to look pretty foolish. So thank you for joining me. And part two will be this evening. Speak to you again soon, my friends. Hello once again my friends, well it's now evening time and I've just arrived home from work and obviously I'm going to have my bath. This morning was quite interesting to be honest, um, I honestly thought I was seeing a vision of Jesus Christ but I know it wasn't. And um, it was a, let's say, a disciple, a helper. And he told me they're rallying round spiritual people, not religious people. And it's not what we can physically do, it's our energy. If you've ever sat in a circle or a physical circle, your energy is drawn from you and used for the person, the medium, to charge the medium so they can go about the job of being the medium. So the point of it is the guy, the gentleman came to me and explained that our and my energy will be required. Like I said, it's not a religious thing, this. There's an awful lot of religious so-called people that aren't spiritual. This is not about praying, but we'll move on from that because I really don't want to get involved in upsetting anybody who is religious. That's not the point of this. So, thanks for joining me. So I start this session and I'll ask for the guard light to surround me, my house and my family. I come in peace, love and light as always. I'll just recap what I was talking about to the people who watch my videos. As I'm sure you're aware. This morning I had a clairvoyant vision of a gentleman that I thought was Jesus Christ. Could you tell me please who it was? we've been getting low entity spirits coming through our sessions lots of swearing, cursing quite nasty stuff to be honest I'm told there's a spiritual doorway being opened and or a shift within the earth plane is this correct? told as mediums, workers, we must all come together. Is that also correct? what has created or caused this major shift we are all going to experience or are experiencing right now. 
Oh, it's cold this. Now I'm asking my spirit team for these answers and assuming they are going to tell me. But as always, my friends, it's only ever an experiment. We may get the answers and we may not. people need to be aware of anything. Could you please tell me how all this is going to affect the earth? people who live on the earth. Well, have answered my first question, but I would like to ask again about the clairvoyant vision I had this morning and who the gentleman was I saw come to me. get a name for him. Thank you. And what kind of being is he? my friends, I think I've taken up enough of your time today, thank you if you have communicated with me, it's always appreciated. Another night to all, and thank you for joining me, goodbye now. And my friends, once again, thank you for watching my video. We'll see what happens now in the future. Because I have a feeling it won't be long or far off. Goodbye now. Thank you.